Okay, so as we all know, in our town right now, we are currently facing severe air quality conditions. It's crucial for everyone to exercise caution and monitor their health. According to the EPA, the air quality is classified as code red, which signifies that the air quality is critical level, posing a significant health risk to our community. During code red conditions, it is important to, uh, for our individuals to take extra precautions and to minim minimize exposure, uh, especially for individuals with heart or lung disease, older adults, our younger children, teens. So here are a couple of things you can do and following these key steps could be beneficial. The first is that we wanna limit our outdoor activities, especially during the peak pollution hours. So reschedule activities outdoors if possible. Stay informed about the quality updates uh, from our local authorities. Improve air quality by keeping windows and doors closed. I would highly recommend checking your air filters at home, uh, making sure that you're replacing them, um, and as well as using air purifiers during this time, especially for somebody that suffers from seasonal allergies. Um, this can definitely exacerbate your allergies. You can try taking an antihistamine if you're experiencing itchy eyes, itchy throat, any of those symptoms. But like I said before, please go see your doctor if your symptoms are severe. I also recommend a woman if they do start outside feeling some symptoms and start feeling a shorter breath, inhalers are safe to use in pregnancy. Um, we have a lot of women with asthma in pregnancy and as I always tell them, oxygen is good for them and their baby. Um, so depending on their on their um, situation, they either can reach out to their primary care doctor or certainly to us as their obstetrical provider. For our outdoor workers, if you experience symptoms like coughing, throat irritation, chest pain or burning, or difficulty breathing, move to an indoor area promptly. By taking these precautions, we can protect ourselves and our community from the harmful effects of poor air quality. Let's prioritize our health during this challenging time. Thank you for your attention to this important advisory. Together, we can navigate this period of severe air quality conditions and emerge stronger.